First, let's create a new composition. Turn on the grid. Add a shape layer. Add an ellipse. Add stroke to the ellipse. Select color for the stroke. In this video we select red color. You can select any other color that you need. Change the size of the ellipse to 160 to better fit into the grid. Add a rectangle. Let's name this the central parallel. Make it the same size as an ellipse in width. And zero in height to get just a straight line. Let's duplicate this parallel. The duplicate will be our top parallel. Accordingly, we change the vertical position at minus 40 and we make it 140 wide to fit an ellipse. Duplicate the top parallel. Now this new duplicate will be the bottom parallel. We change the vertical position at 40. So we got the basic static part of the globe. Now let's create rotating meridians. We use the pen tool to create a path. You need to do everything very accurately so that the meridian coincides as closely as possible with the ellipse. Select the path and add a keyframe. Copy. Set the slider to the initial position and change the path of the meridian to the opposite.
Add a keyframe for the starting position. Move the slider to the desired position and paste the previously copied keyframe. And now we see that we have a rotating meridian. Let's name it Meridian 1. Now we need to make it rotate without stopping. To do this, add a loop expression. You can find it in the description for this video. We need four meridians. We create them by duplicating the first meridian. We make shifts in the timeline so that they rotate one after the other. When the first meridian is in the center position, the next should be in the quarter way position. Checking the result. In the description for this video, you can find a link to a video in which this rotating globe was used to create the Democratic Labour Party logo. If you want to save your time, you can buy a ready-made After Effects template literally for just a couple of dollars. The link is also in the description.